Hmm. Do you know what? Let's design a full Lutron Rat to Select system together. Bonjour, I'm Xavier, and welcome to the Adelux YouTube channel for lighting control and home automation tutorials. If you're also into it, please consider to like and subscribe to my channel so you can be updated when the next video is released. Let's just dive into it. The first step is to start with a lighting floor plan that you may get from your client, the architect or the electrician or that you can even quickly make yourself. At least a document from where you can count the number of lighting circuits, their location and their load type, which means to know what type of dimming method they use or if they are simply not dimmable at all. We usually get this information from the drawing legend as I'm showing here. Let's start with some key rooms and we will apply the same method throughout the entire project. So let's jump directly onto the kitchen. Here, we have a first circuit of down lighters. And if we refer back to the legend, we can see that those are mains dimmable. So to operate them, we will need to use one Lutron Rat to Select Inline Dimmer. In the same way, we also note that the other set of down lighters here and the set of pendants over the table are also mains dimmable. So in that kitchen, each of those lighting circuits will have to use its own inline dimmer, which will make a total of three inline dimmers for this room. I also have a set of LED strips under the kitchen cabinets here. And when I check with the legend, this one seems to be not dimmable. Therefore, to operate it, I'll have to use one Lutron inline switch module for on-off operation only. So, let's add this inline switch to our project with the rest of the equipment. Also, in that kitchen, I have a battery-powered Lutron blind called Sivoya QS Triathlon Roller Blind that will also be part of my Ratu Select setup. There are other types of Lutron motorized blinds available that can also be part of a Ratu Select system. And if I jump in a master bedroom, for example, here I have what we call a Sivoya QS wireless roller blind with a sheer fabric to let daylight in and privacy, and a Sivoya QS wireless curtain track with blackout curtains to use at night time. Those use wide-in power as opposed to batteries and communicate wirelessly with the rest of the Ratu Select system. While we're in the master bedroom, let's talk about another kind of load type that we can use on the Ratu Select system. Here, for example, I have another type of LED strip. And when I check back on the legend, it says that it is a 0 to 10 volt dimming circuit. And to operate 0 to 10 volt lighting circuit on a Ratu Select application, we need to use the 0 to 10 volt RF dimming module, as you can see here. 0 to 10 volt lighting circuits require an additional pair of cables to carry the dimming signal. And the regular inline dimmer hasn't got this feature, so we have to use the 0 to 10 volt RF dimming module in this case. And as I'm sure you get the picture, we'll have to use the same method throughout this project. And at the end, this will give me the total number of power modules and Lutron motorized blinds I need for this project. Now, let's talk about how to actually control this equipment. Now, when it comes to the control of those rooms, I need to figure out how many picos I'll have to use. So let's go back to the kitchen. Here, like in any other rooms where I'll have more than one lighting circuit, I'll specify a PicoSync keypad to operate the lighting using lighting scenes. In the kitchen, scenes can be all on, cooking, dining scene and all off. And if we need to operate a single circuit independently from time to time, we can just use the Lutron Rat to Select app. Then, I'll specify a Pico remote control for blinds with three buttons plus raise and lower to operate my Lutron battery power blind here. 
These are my favorite Picos to operate blinds as it will provide my client with full functionality, especially with that middle button that can be reprogrammed to set the blind to a favorite position. In this kitchen, I also have a Sonos audio system. And as Lutron Ratu Select integrates seamlessly with Sonos, I'll also get an audio Pico wireless control as this will give my client a quick and basic control of her Sonos audio system. And those three Picos will fit nicely together in this type of triple faceplate here. And because I also need some sort of control by the living room, I'll add a PicoSync keypad and the same Pico wireless control for the blind, this time on a dual faceplate. I'll keep the audio Pico for the faceplate by the corridor only, as I think it'd be more than enough. And if you want to know more about the Pico for audio control and the Sonos integration, I've put a link in the comment section below, or you can click on the card above. In the master bedroom, by the door, I'll also use a free Pico configuration type, one Pico Scene keypad, then a Pico wireless control for the roller blind, and then another one to operate the curtain track, all in a triple faceplate. Because those Picos are wireless and require no wiring at all, I can easily add the same Pico configuration on the right and on the left hand side of the bed by simply screwing each faceplate onto the headboard. You will also note that the way I've arranged the picos in the faceplate is slightly different for each side of the bed, so my clients can reach the picos in keypad first, which is more convenient. Here, we also want to make sure that the light in the laundry will not be left on when no one is in the room. So instead of using a Pico, we will be using a Lutron wireless occupancy sensor. And I'll program it using the Lutron Ratu Select app to turn this lighting circuit on when someone enters the room and switch it off automatically when the room is unoccupied. Another room I think we can stop to very quickly talk about Picos is the entry hall. Here, I have right next to the door a Pico wireless control to operate the pendant here then, I have a Pico wireless control to operate this circuit of outside lights. And because they are not dimmable, I'll only need two buttons, on and off. Finally, I will also add a two-button Pico scene keypad for entry, which will allow the client to use an away scene to turn off all the light, close the blinds, etc. in the entire house when she leaves, and a welcome scene to illuminate the lighting circuits, set the blinds, etc. to my client choice or desired position when she comes back in. And if you want an in-depth description for each type of Pico control, I invite you to check our previous video here using the link in the comments or by clicking on the card above. Now, to program all this equipment and also to allow the client to control and monitor his or her system using the Lutron Ratu Select app, we need a main repeater. The repeater needs to be connected to the internet router of the house, which in our case is located here. And basically, all the Ratu Select devices need to be within a 9 meter radius from it, which here covers most of my Lutron equipment but may appear a bit short for some of them. So, what I will say first is that the Lutron Clear Connect wireless communication is very, very good. And in our example here, I feel very confident that I will be able to reach every device. However, I will let the client know that we may need to add an auxiliary repeater in case we need to expand the coverage. And this can be added later, so it's not really a big deal. Now, let's put the bill of material together or what I like to call the shopping list. So, for this project, I need one main repeater, 21 inline dimmers for main dimmable lighting circuits, 4 inline switches for non dimmable lighting circuits, 1 0 to 10 volt RF dimmer for 0 to 10 volt lighting circuit, 11 PicoSync keypads, 14 Pico wireless controls for lights. 13 Pico wireless controls for blinds, 2 audio Pico wireless controls for Sonos, 1 occupancy sensor, and 8 Lutron motorized blinds. The final point here is to remember that a Lutron Ratu Select system can handle a maximum of 100 devices. 
Knowing that the main repeater is using one, this leaves us with 99 devices to play with. Here we have a total of 76 devices, which to me is perfect, as it gives me enough room to add additional devices in the future, if the client requires additional picos on the pedestal for example, or if she needs additional Lutron motorized blinds, or if we need an auxiliary repeater. Bearing in mind that each lighting circuit, blind etc, can also be controlled using the app. Using this example here, we realize how much we can do with Lutron Ratu Select. Also, these don't count as system devices, but we still need to order 10 single face plates, 6 dual face plates, and 6 triple face plates. Now, let me share with you that when I quote a Lutron Ratu Select project, rather than having the equipment listed by type like we have here, what I like to do is to sort the equipment per room instead. This may create a longer list, that's why I put the information inside an Excel spreadsheet, but I found this method to be more effective as it helps me to keep track of the equipment to use as well as the right quantity to order together with my floor plan. Now, let's have a look around the entire project. Voila, there you have it. We designed that job, right? Please let me know in the comment section below if there is any topic or right to select feature you would like me to cover in the future. Please like and subscribe to my channel so you can be updated when the next video is released. Thank you very much and talk to you again on the next tutorial.